all the way around the pond. This is a water pond. I just spotted them. Hey, what's up Aquamigos? How are you guys doing today? So we've been getting a lot of work done with the pond build. Check it out. In my last video, I leveled out the cement all the way from over there, all the way around here, all the way to right about here and today i'm going to go through and make sure that this is all leveled out down to there i did notice like a slight problem with the leveling that i did the other day i don't know how this happened but there's somehow like a slight bump right here if you look right here at the leveler on the ground as you can see the bubbles all the way on the right side so i mean i don't know i don't know i must have messed up at this part hopefully it won't be too big of a deal it's like i don't know it's not like super off i guess Hopefully that won't cause any problems. And by the way guys, I just wanted to mention that I usually wait until around 4.30 in the afternoon to do any cement work or anything like that because this area doesn't really get any shade until about 4.30 in the afternoon. And it's also getting pretty hot guys. It's like around 95 degrees right now. But anyways, let's jump right into it. Let's start leveling this out. And as usual, I'm just going to start by brooming off this area. All right, there we go guys. Just as last time, we have a pretty runny consistency, which definitely helps when it comes to leveling the cement. And just like I did in my last video, I'm going to use this small level right here and this flat thing to make sure that everything is flat and level with the bender board. Right, guys we did it we finished leveling all the cement check it out guys we did all of this and even when we take the big level and we check across i mean it's not 100 perfect but i mean hey it's pretty good check that out right in the middle right in the middle right in the middle right in the middle and let's just check one more time up here right in the middle i didn't do anything here guys because this was more or less already level like i was saying it's not 100 perfect but i think it's good enough and as for things that I've learned as I've done this is that cement is a lot easier to level when it's of a wetter consistency. For the most part, it almost levels itself. And of course, you probably don't want to make it too wet. If it's too wet, you might get cracks. And I actually even kind of feel like the last kind of layer of cement that I did, it might have been a little bit too wet, but hopefully it should be okay. And this is by no means a how-to video. This is the first project I've ever done with cement. 
So it's very much been a kind of learn as you go process. I've gotten advice from different people. My dad's helped me out a lot, but for the most part, I've kind of just been learning as I went. And I know a lot of you guys are eager for me to start building the cinder block retaining wall on top of the foundation, but I figured that it would be a better idea to first dig out the middle of the pond because once I have that wall here, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for me to shovel the dirt out from the middle of the pond because that wall will be blocking me a little bit. So yeah, the next step is going to be to dig out the middle of the pond. I know that's going to be a ton of work, but once I finish that, then yes, we'll definitely go ahead and get that cinder block wall up. And by the way, guys, I am planning on digging about three feet down, and then the cinder block wall will give me another 16 inches above the ground. But I'm guessing that I'm probably only going to fill up the pond about 10 or 12 inches above the ground, and then that'll give us a good like, you know, maybe like six inches or so until we get to the top of the wall. Because of course, I don't want to fill it up all the way to the top. So if you look right there, that's basically how tall it's going to be, just like two cinder blocks high all the way around the pond. And that's it compared to the height of the pool pond. The pool pond is about, I believe it's something like 28 inches high or something like that. So yeah, much shorter than the pool pond. But then of course it will go into the ground quite a bit deeper than the pool pond. And if any of you guys watching this have any questions on how I got to the point that I'm at today, feel free to let me know down in the comments below because I probably have a video on it. And since I finished the foundation a lot earlier than I thought I would, let's go ahead and tackle some of that dirt back there. I already got rid of most of it. A lot of that dirt back there is from when I was digging out the trench where I poured my cement and I need to get rid of all of that. That dirt shouldn't be over there. So let's go ahead and tackle some of that and see how much I can get done. All right guys, so that's gonna be just about all I'm going to do for today. I got rid of almost all of the dirt that was over here, guys. There's just a little bit more over there I need to do and then, you know, I still need to come in here and clean it up. But most of it's done. And I think this would be a great time for me to do my three shout outs for today's video. I have a shout out for Bradley Holowinski. I have a shout out for Love My Fins and Feathers. And I have a shout out for Scooter Lover. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. If any of you guys watching this video would like a shout out in my next pond build video, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment, I am an Aquamigo. And really quick guys, I just wanna give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to everyone who watched to the end of my last video. You guys are awesome. As a small time YouTuber, that helps me out a lot. And I actually have a package over here. Let's just open it up real quick. It should be fish related. Yes, awesome guys. This is a water pump that I ordered to help me out with my water changes. This thing is going to help me out a lot when I'm doing water changes in my aquariums. And of course guys, I can't end this video without saying hello to the pond fish. I saw the loach out a second ago. Let's see if we can get a glimpse of him. We're, oh, there he is. I just spotted him. He's all the way down there. There he is guys. Guys, if you're looking for a really neat pond fish to have, Dojo loaches are awesome. They're such interesting and unusual fish. So yeah guys, that's gonna be just about it for today's video. I feel like we got some really good work done today. In my next pond build video, I will be digging out the middle, so stay tuned for that. If you did like this video, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. I'm trying to be more active on there and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.